we developed some foods uh, for Navy to make us SEALs, uh, make us supermen, one of which are what we call pharmaceutical mushrooms. I am the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the Canadian distributor for Aloha Medicinal, and we cultivate things like reishi and maitake and uh, some of these other mushrooms that will not only get rid of diabetes and cancers, but do other things as well. What basically cordyceps does is delivers oxygen on a cellular level to the body. Your body can't get enough of that, which means that if you're eating these mushrooms, certain kinds, in certain ways, uh, you don't get sick. And, in fact, can possibly reverse some aging access, change your age. Um, that would be at Aloha Medicinals. Dot CA for Canadian representative, and we have with Nick Begich and several others, we're doing formulas where we're making antibiotic substitutes so that we make for feedlots so that we make our, our food sources healthy. Because if we don't do that, how can we become healthy if our food sources aren't from healthy sources? You know, we're like my girlfriend has a uh, chicken ranch. She has a bunch of chickens, have a couple hundred chickens, where she's doing almost 20 dozen eggs a day. And her eggs don't stick to the skillet. It's amazing. I used to eat eggs in my breakfast every morning. And then over a period of years, I stopped doing that, not knowing why. It was, I was buying my eggs from Safeway. But when I started eating her eggs, I started eating them again because they're different than the eggs that you would get from the supermarket, just like might be depicted in that video, Food Incorporated. When you look at how most of our foods are produced, uh, you will stop buying your foods from Walmart or Safeway. I mean, it is appalling how bad our food supply truly is. And it's my opinion, right or wrong, it's my opinion that in the next year, it will no longer be about money. It will be about food and the quality of food that you're taking into your body. If you're not eating right, there is no way you're going to be able to become spiritual. You must begin with the physical body and then move it to the emotional and physical, intellectual, and so on. Um, They're all the same. That's what the holographic element of, of, of our model of a universe. It will be probably shown in 50 years that the universe isn't holographic either. Actually, science uh, is an interesting thing. You know, um, I don't know of any law in physics that has lasted longer than 20 years. Maxwell's right-hand rule of thumb for hitchhiking out of the galaxy, maybe, but ultimately, there has been no law that has lasted longer than 20 years in physics, and that's the truth. Does that mean that physics is growing or that it doesn't contain the answers? Well, I have dealt with Hopi. I have dealt with Trabinder and the Aborigines of, of, of uh, Australia, and I have made a discovery. I uh, did this when I was working with some Hopi Indian. The Navy brought, sent me in to study these guys because they apparently could change the weather. And what they were doing was making a sand painting. And while they were making the sand painting, I was watching these clouds roll in like something on a TV show where the big alien craft is coming in behind the clouds. And this one Hopi looked at me, looked down at the sand painting, looked back at me and winked at me and ran his hand through the sand painting. And the weather went back to normal. And I stepped back and I looked at that sand painting. And you know... It looked an awful lot like a solid-state physics device. Technology has many faces, and our way of explaining it is not how it works. It's once you have it in the mind's eye, that is reality. And that's why I would say that magic is a higher form of physics, that for centuries it was reserved the ultra elite of Europe, and it was only in this last century when Aleister Crowley suggested drugs as a way to alter consciousness, which is quite valid, that, uh, and magic, let me define magic. Magic is the art of changing consciousness at will. And so, from that point of view, 
Magic is a higher form of physics. It's like physics with a mystery school associated to it. And I believe that that is where we're going in our technologies and our concepts of reality. Ladies That's why the Hopi can do things. We can't. I am so impressed with different cultures and the way they approach their reality. I'm beginning to realize we may be missing something in our attempts to explain things. And uh, really, it's as simple as once you understand it in your own way, in your own mind, that is what makes it real. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been talking to, listening to, and learning from Richard Allen Miller. Richard, thank you for being with its rainmaking time today. We oh, hope that pleasure. you will come back. Yes, anytime you'd like me. <laughs> Actually, we got lots more we can talk about. <laughs> thank, you. Well, you know. thank you very much, Richard. My pleasure. <laughs>